So, um, the purpose of this video is to just flat out tell you guys that I'm, I just finished watching the entirety of OG Mobile Suit Gundam. And I know this is going to sound like I'm being biased. I know this is going to sound like, oh, you just, it's just pure nostalgia and, you know, you're not really giving it like a, a full criticism. I didn't watch this when it was on Toonami. I watched, like I said before, I watched G Gundam, which I'm going to have to rewatch. So this is not nostalgia coming out of me. This is pure. This is my pure opinion. From the time I watched it Tuesday to now, which is Sunday night, I just got finished watching it. And I said, I was going to be finished watching this by the end of the week. I'm done. And I can honestly say this is this show. This show is a 10 out of 10 for me. Now, why do I say that? Because from the moment I started this show all the way up until now, I was fully locked in. And the only reason why uh, at some points I, I, I was like not really focused all the way in because it, it was like at least four o'clock in the morning that I was watching this shit. I was literally dead ass tired and I'm trying to fight myself from waking from, from keeping up. So because I wanted to keep watching. That's how much this this show had had my focus because all I wanted to do, even when I was going to work, was watch Mobile Suit Gundam. I did not want to stop watching. But of course, the elections and everything, which I'm going to make a video about that. Everything had happened. Part, a part of my mind was taken, was, taken, uh, was taken aback from that. I wanted to give myself a little bit of break of watching this because a lot of crazy shit was going on that I can't really say in this whole video but i'm just gonna give my brief synopsis all right uh, just a brief re a review this show mobile suit gundam is a 10 out of 10 for me it is not once was i bored not once was i angry i mean i was angry for different reasons but not because of the show being bad or being bad or anything like that I was fully in, 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 in enveloped with these characters. I felt what these characters were going through at times. I had funny moments with these characters. <sighs> I love this show. I am now what you, you are now looking at a new at a new Gundam fan. I love Gundam. That's it. Yes, I said it. After watching episode one all the way to 40, 43, 43, I had to double check, 43, I am now a fan of Gundam. And yes, I've already bought my hoodie and, and my backpack and everything like that. That will be coming in the mail very soon. So yes, yes, mm-hmm, now. Why do I love this show so much? This gave me what I've been looking for. I know in the past videos when I've talked about Daima and everything, it gave the, the like the, that I mean, in particular gave me something that I haven't seen in Dragon Ball in a minute, which is true. The feel of Dragon Ball and Goku being Goku is something that I've wanted to see in Dragon Ball for a very long time to come back, and that is the truth. But I've also Wanted to see a more. How can I put this? A more. Serious at stakes. If that even makes sense. A show that that'll ha that that'll have me be on my uh, on my feet. And wanting to keep watching, I wanted a sh I, I needed an anime to do that for me. And this show did that. And the thing that I that I keep asking, 
and I've been asking my friends this who wanted me to watch Gundam and everything. How is it that this show is not getting as much attention as it should? Despite the fact that I always, and, and, and this is the thing that keeps buzzling my mind. So bear with me. I don't understand how some anime fans can sit here and critique the animes that they watch. Say, oh, this is missing that. This is missing this. Why isn't there an anime that, that has these certain things? Why isn't there? And then you have animes like this. And the only reason as to why. They're not watching that show is because either they say the show is too old, either they say that 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 the the, the timeline's too long, or complicated, and everything. I understood everything that I was looking at from that timeline all the way to watching everything that I was watching, even when the point where they were introducing the new types in this show. Around like 30, what was it, like 30, we was really getting into it, the new types, like 30, I want to say 38, through, 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 through like, like 40, and, and then, yeah. The whole deal with the new types and everything. I don't understand it. This show gave me everything that I was looking for. And yes, as a fan of Zoids, it was easy for me to love this show. I love giant robots, period. I, I, come on. You're talking to a dude that loved Power Rangers. Of course I'm going to love this. So I'm to a dude that loved Transformers. Of course I love giant robots. Shoot, if you ask me if I enjoy Megas XLR, you bet you bet your sweet ass I, I love Megas XLR. So, of course, I'm going to love Gundam. Why would not? Despite the fact that this... This series... This sh series, right? This OG show only had one. One Gundam. And I was captivated. I should tell you something. The show wasn't just about the Gundam. It was about everything that was going wrong... That was going around the Gundam. Everything that was going on. To the, the, the moment where Amaru, Amaru discovered the Gundam. To when the Gundam got destroyed. Now. I had to pause for a minute. Because I had to gather myself. The way they addressed war. With this show was very interesting. Because this wasn't. this, and, and like the dude said in the timeline. That timeline thing that I was reacting to. This wasn't your average everyday war. Where it's alien. It's you know humans versus aliens. You know something that, that is unknown. Right that's not human. This, this is about humans. This is a human war. And they're fighting. In space, literally in space. And time has time has passed. Many years have passed. And uh, you realize early on in there they haven't been on Earth. These are th these are humans that went on a colony, that have been on a colony. And for those of you who don't understand, it's literally like a A planet-sized ship that houses a whole bunch of people, and when you get inside, you it looks like you're on Earth. From like the skies, the ground, the earth, like like the trees. If they have little animals on there, they have cities, shops you could like. But but you're in space, but you're on this ship, and it's called a colony. It's like a giant ship and it's and time has passed and it's been some odd years since people even realized they're not on earth and so a war has broke out has broke out politics has has, has gone into way has gone into way 
where another faction feel as though they are superior to the people who decided to leave Earth. So a whole war breaks out. They want to be the chosen people. So not only do they attack the people that, that left Earth, but the people that are still on Earth. And, and if we go for, from, from the, uh, the whole logic of, of Char, which is which honestly now is my, my, my second favorite character. My first favorite character is Amaru. The second favorite character is Char. And the third favorite character is um, a dude that we're going to have to address. And this is a whole other can of words. But the point that I'm making is this. So many things have happened. No things happened in this show. Where I was just... I was shouting and screaming in excitement. Literally excitement. I couldn't stop. I literally could not stop. And then come to find out the Gundam. That one Gundam is a prototype. That was just... It didn't look like a prototype to me. It looked like the final product. But it's a prototype. How they introduced war and made this be very relatable to me as a child that whose whose military mother and father a military family i understood what was going on with amaru i was i understood what was going on with each of these characters because things were happening out of their control and the only way that they could survive was to just keep moving forward and pushing on and not cower and if you did cower and have a moment of weakness you had to slap shit out of you literally literally or be called hey you're being a coward a war is going on we can't just we can't stop for breaks we have to keep going and but then you see how it how just that ideology is is impacting everyone not just the main character, it's impacting everybody. Commander to the people, to the, the, the children that, that, uh, that were unfortunately got put on this ship. But now, they it, it, shit's happened so much that they, they don't want to leave. The main character, who was literally just a... You see, who was literally a, a tech nerd. He was into robotics, into technology. Suddenly, this happened and he just wanted to go find his father. His father... Being the dickhead he is, he's all worried about protecting his project, which is the Gundam. Son finds the Gundam and completely is 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 is, is uh, tinkering with the shit because he's so fascinated. And he immediately picks up on it, and you realize how later on how he why, reason why he picks up on it because he's a new type of human. They're called new types in this, where a human is their their, their senses are heightened. Where if, if something in the back of them were going off, they would understand, they would not only predict it happening, but they could avoid it. And as we get on to the show, Amaro keeps improving this without even knowing it. Which is a, ver which is very, a, a, a ridiculous ability, but it works. And then there's Char. This man. apologize i was sipping my coffee at first i didn't know what to think about this man because at first dude was just doing stuff because he is a, a upper rank he is known as the red comet he's a son of a bitch but the moment he finds amaru everything changes because then he finds well we, we, we find him and this this link he has with his sister who apparently uh 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 is is <clears throat> conflicted because not only did she not know about her brother being alive but also she didn't know he was involved with this war and neither did he at first he was even he wasn't even convinced that that was his sister salia but as time went on they realized hey yeah yeah we're related he brought he, he bro he even bribes her to, to be out of this war and go live a normal life and be a good woman at the end of this 
And it still kills me this man has a theme song. And it actually is fire. And it, despite the fact that this show is old as hell, the song is fire. I'm sorry, it is. By the way, in, in terms of, of songs, I cannot stop singing the theme song of the theme opening for this show. And just keep doing this. So thank you, uh, Master Zen and 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 uh, 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 my other friend. Thank you so much for wanting me to watch this show. I it, it's now been embraved into my brain. Thank you. So yeah, Amaro, uh, my favorite character. It was it, it like he he was so. It's, he was like a Liger Zero that was able to adapt to everything on the fly. And because of the fact that he survived, he was able to just pick up on it. Especially the fact that he had absorbed another new type's powers after she died. And he... Oh, man. There was so much trauma going on with this. It wasn't even known. And it's, speaking of trauma, I said uh, Char was my second favorite character. The third favorite character... Rest in peace to Ryu. And it's still fuck you, Bright, for doing that. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Bright, this is still all your fault as to why, as to why Ryu died. You want to know why? Because all you had to do was talk to your team. It didn't matter if you didn't like Amuro because he was a child. And he, and he, and he wasn't a grown, a grown up and was dealing with grown up things. A war was happening, Bright. A whole war was happening. And instead of going to him and, and issuing your concerns, you then talk behind his back, thinking that he doesn't hear it. He hears it and literally takes his father's Gundam and just dips for at least like three episodes. Meanwhile, you call this man childish for doing it. And then after he comes back and you try and you reprimand him, Locking him in in, 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 uh, in a freaking cell. Everyone is confused as to why Amuro is acting like this. And then Ryu finally gets the idea as to why. Despite the fact this man is heavily injured. Heavily injured. He does everything he possibly can to make sure to make things right between you two. And the team. And ultimately ends up dying. Sacrificing himself to watch Amuro's back because you didn't do it. And now everyone is grieving, especially you, to the point where you get sick at the fact that this man died. And you're and you feel as though you're to blame for it. And you are. You are. You're the commander. You were the commander of the white base. Which is what it was called. Don't 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 look. Don't cancel me for that. It's the white it's it's called the white base, aka the Trojan horse. That's what they called it in the show. All right. The point is, I love this show. Oh, also, shout out to Ramble Rao. Shout out to him. Uh, honestly, I, I take that back. Ramble Rao's the third favorite. Ramble Rao's third favorite, then Ryu. Ramble Rao, well, uh, Ramble Rao was a real ass dude because he could have he could have shot Amuro and. Prabo in that saloon when, when, when they found out that they were on the Federation side. He could have literally shot them, especially when he found out that Amuro had, had, had the blicky behind his coat. But he didn't. He said, I'll see you on the battlefield. And then except the defeat, triggered a grenade and jumped with it. That was... On top of the fact he was known as the Blue Giant, and yes, had a a blue mobile suit of his own. The Red Comet, Char. The Blue Giant, Rambo Rao. And the rest of the Zeon Empire was okay. I, I say Empire, but the the rest of the Zeon Force was just. I'm sorry, y'all was ass. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Compared to Char and Rambo Rao, 
y'all just kept on dying. Y'all only some of y'all only lasted like two to three episodes, and the last the the last one that that ended up surviving, she got offed. Char took. Char <laughs> There's a reason why Char's my second favorite. You salute her. Then you you prop up the weapon and blast that shit in front of her face. She her eyes widen. Her whole face is just gone. Whole head, whole head, just gone. While she was in the seat, ship blown to smithereens. Then after the after the after that, the whole war ended. And all, and the Gundam was destroyed as well, which was a sad thing to see. Cause that thing was durable to the very end, to the very end. Oh, and another thing, the. The, the 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 robot fight scenes in this especially for a classic anime chef's mother fucking kiss i loved it and they didn't really have to have to add on to 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 the robots having saber fights yes yes thank you thank you thank you Seeing that Gundam go through the Zaku mobile suits, every time just got I, I was I was excited. That was what especially got me like continued to watch it. I enjoyed it. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I it, I've been watching this sh the the show the the entire week and weekend. I love it. I love it. Ten out of ten. For those of you who have not given Gundam a chance, please give it a chance. You know if I'm saying it, I'm not steering you wrong or telling you a lie. If you don't like it, okay, fine. But you are missing out. That's all I'm going to say. You are missing out. And if you don't like it, well, okay, go ahead and go play Hello King Island Adventure for all I care. This has been Matthew of Sakurai. I love y'all, and I will definitely see y'all again next time. I'm out. Peace.